With the Cat Pin Grabber Coupler, you can change work tools on your hydraulic excavator in a matter of seconds without ever leaving the cab. After watching this video, you'll know how to safely and properly operate the Pin Grabber Coupler on your machine. Before you operate any machine or work tool, read and understand the safety and operating information in the Operation and Maintenance Manual. The informational decal on the right side cab window shows the operator how to properly lock and unlock the pin grabber coupler to a bucket and displays the correct way to test if the bucket is properly locked. Also on that window are two warning decals one showing the potential crushing hazard if the bucket is not properly attached and locked to the coupler, and the other warning of potential machine interference with the bucket attached to the coupler. For a more detailed description, refer to the Pin Grabber Coupler Manual. Prior to running the machine, perform a daily walk-around inspection of both the machine and its components. To properly perform the inspection, the coupler must be uncoupled from any work tool or bucket and be sitting on the ground. Inspect the coupler for loose bolts, oil leaks, worn or broken parts, and any damage to welds. Clean any dirt or debris from the coupler to keep the pin hook areas clear, making sure that both the wedge and the secondary latch can move without obstruction. And finally, to ensure maximum life from your pin grabber coupler, lubricate it daily. Greasing points are located on the top of the coupler and on either side. For details, refer to your operation and maintenance manual. Before coupling the bucket, position the bucket on a level surface. Move the coupler switch in the cab to the unlock position. You will hear an alarm sound. This alarm indicates the coupler switch has been placed in the unlock position. Engage the bucket. When you can see that the secondary latch is open, rotate the coupler in order to completely grab the top pin. Extend the bucket cylinder until the bucket is completely curled under the stick. Move the coupler switch to the lock position. The alarm will shut off in D-Series machines. This does not confirm the bucket is locked into place. Hold the bucket cylinder at full curl for at least five seconds. In E-Series machines, the monitor will indicate that the switch is closed, but beeping will continue for about 10 seconds. Continue to hold the bucket cylinder at full curl until the beeping stops. This does not confirm the bucket is locked into place. The ceasing of the alarm and the indicator on the monitor only confirms the coupler switch has been moved to the lock position. Uncurl the bucket slightly. Look to see that the secondary latch has engaged the front pin. To confirm that the bucket is locked on, put the bucket flat on the ground. Apply pressure to the bucket against the ground and at the same time uncurl the bucket away from the machine. If the bucket is not locked on to the pin grabber coupler, disengage and repeat the steps for re-engaging the bucket. Perform this test every time you attach a bucket or any attachment. Coupling and uncoupling a bucket in the reverse position is a similar procedure, but it can be more difficult in this position. Aligning the boom, stick, and bucket correctly will ensure smooth coupling. There can be contact between the lifting eye and the stick when the bucket is reversed. It will be important to slowly curl the bucket to contact using caution to not dent the stick. When you're ready to uncouple the bucket, place it above level ground with no load. Extend the bucket cylinder until the bucket is fully curled under the stick. Move the coupler switch from the lock to the unlock position. The coupler alarm will sound. Continue extending the bucket cylinder for an additional five seconds after the coupler switch is in the unlock position. When you can see that the secondary lock is open, with the bucket close to the ground, disengage by retracting the bucket cylinder. The process for engaging a non-bucket tool, such as a hammer or other demolition tools, which typically rest horizontally, is slightly different. With the coupler open, engage the front pin with the front hooks of the coupler. Lift the hammer slightly off the ground. 
Then curl the coupler over to engage the rear pin. Fully curl the bucket cylinder. Use the same sequence to engage the tool, being careful to keep the tool at full curl for 5 to 10 seconds. Always test tool engagement by back dragging on the tool. When you're ready to uncouple the hammer, place it above level ground. Extend the bucket cylinder until the hammer is fully curled under the stick. Move the coupler switch from the lock to the unlock position. The coupler alarm will sound. Continue extending the bucket cylinder for an additional 5 seconds after the coupler switch is in the unlock position. When you can see that the secondary lock is open, set the tip of the hammer on the ground. Partially uncurl the bucket cylinder to disengage the rear pin. Lower the hammer fully to the ground, then disengage the front pin from the coupler. The lifting capacity of the excavator can be maximized by using the pin grabber coupler lifting eye without a bucket attached. Lifting objects with the lifting eye without the bucket also improves the visibility for the operator. To use the pin grabber coupler lifting eye, first remove the bucket. Move the pin grabber coupler into the vertical position by extending the bucket cylinder and attach the load. Never exceed the weight and capacity for the pin grabber coupler. The maximum rated load is stamped on or near the lifting eye. Be sure to also consider special load cases, such as working over the side or at full extension. Safe working loads and load cases are listed in your coupler operation and maintenance manual. The Caterpillar Pin Grabber Coupler is a great way to improve your machine's versatility and performance. All in just seconds and all from the comfort of your cab. Using this system properly will keep you and your co-workers safe and productive on the job.